can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion fighting for the... You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets within five minutes of them going on sale than you're going to be outside the arena. You're going to be standing outside hoping to be inside the arena. All the way back to UFC 75, champion versus champion. Rampage versus Dan Hinch. The UFC has brought fights that have blown the roof off the O2 arena. Lands a solid kick right there. No feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, nice low kick. Nice shot there by the champ. Back kick there. Well, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Push kick there to the body. So more output, at least in the early going. Another big body kick lands. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, nice job to land the knee upstairs there. That's going to leave a mark. And again, we talk about the size advantage. He certainly put it to good use there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Throwing that jab, no good. Well-timed knee to the body. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lee. And just misses with that big right hand. That's a beautiful body kick. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily do that. Ooh, big shot man. Try to establish that jab. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Sidekick, well placed. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Keep your hands up. 
one minute now to go in round one. Quick jab. Lands with the lead right. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Targeting the body with the kick now. <laughs> 20 seconds to go. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. Another punch to the head. Oh, Five God. minutes in the books. All right, take a seat. Listen, great round, man. You really kept the pressure on him. I, I told you you were going to win this fight with cardio. Let's keep that pace up and let's keep putting that pressure on him. You ready to fight? Ready. Get Second it. round here. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Leg kick is true. Oh, back and forth to go. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, misses with the jab. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Good jab there by the champion. Lee's body really getting bruised up on that right side right now. Got to figure out a way to lower the guard. Oh, the hook lands. And now some separation. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage pace. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Two minutes. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. 
hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Nice take out. There you go. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Lee getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish, and then you try and count it. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh. Two rounds in the books. Oh. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stool. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Beautiful jab land. Big right hook there by the champ. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Now some separation from this close position. Just misses with a left hook there. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Big body kick land. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. <laughs> Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Oh, that opened up a cut on his forehead. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Beautiful punch to the body. And now some distance as they pull apart. 
Nice job blocking that punch. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Nice kick to the body. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. 90 seconds to go. Solid kick right there. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Got the single collar tonight. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Short time now in the round. Oh, nice little right hook there. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down, and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, Ready it becomes fight. impossible. Ready. They call that the trickle down. That's what they do. That's what they do. <laughs> All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Stay on that cut for me. Head kick there blocked by Lee. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Went for the inside leg kick. He's got that jab working, nicely done. Clean with the strikes tonight. Now they separate. Push kick there to the body. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Another massive body kick land. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Keep moving forward. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Establishing the jab here. 
Single collar tie now. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Under three minutes to go in round four. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. Oh, nice. Beautiful kick lands. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Beautiful leg kick lands. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tail. Uppercut lands. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Doing work with the jab there. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Now you're really starting to see the damage on that thigh. Maybe check a kick, protect that leg a little bit. He's got to check a kick in return. You've got to make him pay for throwing these leg kicks. They can't be free. You can't just get your leg beat up. Right now we're starting to see how much damage he's inflicted on his opponent. Right now. 90 seconds to go on the round. Nice punch there by Lee. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Well, there's no denying his toughness, but how much damage to the body can one man take? At some point, the referee's got to get involved, I would think. Well, someone, I mean, this guy's as tough as they come and his toughness is, is, is really showing right now. But should it really have to? That's the question now. Someone should save this man from himself. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Beautiful strike. Final seconds of round four. Five. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputations for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, he is not seeing those head kicks as his opponent's foot leaves the canvas. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. He's throwing every part of himself 
into these big leg kicks. Both fighters throwing heat now. Trying to hammer that lead leg. On point with that jab today. Oh, sidekick lands. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh, the bruising on that calf, champ. That's not good. Hey, take your cans off. Tell him to check a kick. I mean, we got to go back to pandemic fight where <laughs> they can just hear the coaching because, man, he has not checked one kick, and he's paying for it now. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Oh, man, you got to credit him for continuing to attack that area, but that cut is getting harder to look at by the minute. Yeah, it's hard to watch, and, you know, we, we spoke about this guy and how impressed we were with his fight IQ and how smart he was in his approach shows again. He got his opponent hurt, and he has been on that cut the entire time. Great job. Under two minutes now with which to work. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. Dead, dead. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved, I would think. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that, uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. All right, here we go with the final minute of what has been unquestionably the fight of the night, back and forth on both sides. And referee has thought about stopping things. I'm glad he stayed out. Yeah, I'm glad that he didn't put himself in this fight. We needed to see this one to completion, or as long as we have gotten to see the fight. There have been some bleak moments for both. Both of these guys are covered in blood. Both of these guys have been battered and bruised, but neither one of them lost the desire to fight. It's been so fun to watch. I cannot wait for this last minute. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. There it is. Now he's going to the mountain. That was a slick transition. Great job finding his shots from the top position. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. That oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No. The champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon.